Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and you're watching Today we're back with another Shop My Stash video. I upload these every Monday or Tuesday just in case you're interested. Last week for eyeshadow palettes I chose the Fashion Fanatic. I'll go ahead and insert some of the looks that I came up with here and this is what the palette looks like. It kind of reminded me of the classic cutie palette just because of these purples. So I created, of course, I used the purples. Um, I found my favorite thing to do with this was this is a crease. This is the outer V. This is all over the lid color. And then either this one or this one as an inner corner. I did try these three. So I've tried all, but I think this one. And I wasn't really happy with these looks. <laughs> did you hear that? That's my dog. She's frustrated at me. But <laughs> I wasn't happy with these. I just wasn't. I just didn't like the combination. But I did really enjoy these. Like I could do this, this, this almost every day with one of these at the inner corner. It's really, really pretty. So... Yeah, I like that one, but honestly, I'd probably choose, if I, if you have the classic cutie, you don't need this. That's just my opinion, though. So, I'm going to put that back, and then I was thinking about either the Bon Bon palette, because I thought, for some reason, I was thinking, oh, that's springy, but I don't think that that is now that I'm looking at it. So, let's go with my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I'd mentioned last week that I'd probably be pulling this this week. I used this one consistent week before, not since I've started my YouTube channel, and I wasn't happy with the looks that I got, so it's probably just the looks that I created because this is a stunning palette, so we're going to try it again. Look at all these. I mean, you have so many options. Love it. So yeah, we're going to use this one this week. And that's all for this drawer. I, these are, if I didn't mention, weekly makeup picks. So I will use that palette for an entire week. I like only choosing one because I really get to know that palette. So that's all for this drawer. new drawer. Last week I pulled that palette and this Hourglass uh, uh, setting powder. We'll talk about that when I get to the setting powder drawer. This week, I think I know what I'm doing. I I think I'm going to choose a different foundation. I've heard this one's mattifying, the Peach Perfect foundation, and I'm going to be hiking, so hopefully this wears the test. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pull that, and with hiking in mind, I'm also going to pull my all-nighter setting spray. I have had this out of my collection for so long, and I have missed it. This used to be the only setting spray I used, so I didn't know when you start with the best. I didn't know that like I was getting spoiled until like I tried something different. So I can't wait to have this back in my routine. I thought about pulling this, but I'll pull that next week just because my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer has about two or three more uses. So I want to use that up entirely because it is my favorite. And it's also tried and true to try with that new foundation. So that's all for this drawer. Everything face drawer that is in a bronzer, blush, highlight, contour. So like I said last week, I pulled the Hourglass Veil Powder. This is my absolute favorite powder right now. I loved this. I wish that I could pull it for a different week. But I think I know which powder I'm using. I think we're going to go with this Revlon Stay Matte. Is it Revlon or Rimmel? Um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is going to be good to like throw in my bag for hiking just for touch-ups. I really like this and it's like a mess free because it's not loose. So yeah, we're going to pull that one this week. And put back the Hourglass one. The Hourglass one is just amazing. I mean, like I said, it's a favorite. Last week for foundations, I choose the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I really enjoyed that, but we're just going to put that back because we already have one. Primers, I just want to, well, first, let me put back what I used. I used the, I like this one. I'm starting to like it where I would consider purchasing it. This is my second sample I've used, the Tarte Quench Powder. I really, really like this. So we're going to put that one back, but um, not powder, uh, primer. 
And then I'm going to pull, just because that says mattifying, and any mattifying foundation, I always use my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. So we're going to pull this one to use with that foundation. Setting sprays, we already have one, so I'm just going to put up my Morphine Setting Spray. If you don't have this, like, you have to try it. It's just so unique with the spray, and the product itself is really good as well. Um, for moisturizer, we're going to keep in the Clinique Gel one. It's just a really good spring-summer option. And then for concealers, like I said, we're going to keep in, just because I don't have that much product at all, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer with the Becca Brightening. I noticed that this creases, so I could never use this on its own. I have to layer it, and even then there's some creasing, but I just like the finish it gives. Not finish, um, coverage maybe is the right word that I'm looking for. And I think... Yep, that's all for this Highlight one. Blush Bronzer Contour Palette, palette, <laughs> drawer, and we are going to keep in this week this contour palette just because I want to use this for underneath the eyes to set, and since we already have it, we might as well use the contour color, so we're going to pull this one, the Kat Von D Shading Light Contour, and then for bronzers last week, I had the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, just a little sample, it's lasted forever, I really like this. And I want to pull this one again, I want to pull the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer, this is just really, really pretty. I think I've only used this twice and I really love it, so let's pull this. And then for blush. I kind of want to have options this week, so let's pull one of these palettes. Yes, I feel like this is it because that blood sugar palette has a bunch of pinks and like reds and then you have like these different tones that you could um, mix and match. And that is the Smashbox, I think it's the LA Lights Blush and Highlight Palette. Let me see this. I don't know if I would use that as a highlight. Maybe. I don't really have a pink one. We'll see. I might use that as a blush topper though. And last week for blushes, I thought it was Orgasm. It's Deep Throat. And I really, really like that. That was really pretty. It gave a really pretty finish as well. But we're just going to put that back. For a highlighter, I was very impressed with this. And I, I had used this before. I didn't remember liking it as much as I did. But, um, <laughs> my mascara almost fell. But yeah, that was the Too Faced. Look, I used it so much the little embellishment's gone. Yeah, I like that. I liked the finish of it. I liked how it just like went in. It was one with your skin. So I liked that. Now, I want to use this. I feel like I've used this milk highlighter before and I did not enjoy it. So we're going to give her another go. I feel like the reason I didn't enjoy it is because I think it took off like I felt like it took off my foundation. But there's a swatch of it. As you can see, like even the swatches, it's kind of like subtle. So maybe we'll layer that Smashbox one on top of it. So we're going to pull this Milk Highlighter. Just this highlighter. Like I don't know what kind of highlighter it is. But we're going to pull that one. And that's all for this Everything drawer. Eyes drawer that isn't a eyeshadow palette. So this week I think that I'm going to pull my hard candy this little pink eyeliner just because like the colors that are in that palette i think it would pair really really well with that so we're gonna pull that last week for like fun little eyeliners i had the urban decay um glide on pencil and voodoo i like that and for regular <laughs> regular liner we'll use the tarte sex kitten felt tip liner we're going to trade it out with the kat von d Tattoo Liner and Trooper for the sake of rotation. And then for mascaras, I used the CoverGirl Primer and the Milk Mascara. I'm going to keep in the CoverGirl Primer while we have it and pair it with the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I don't like this one on its own. For some reason, it does really good with this primer. So we're going to pull those two. And then for brows, we're going to put back, this is so almost gone. This is the Maybelline Precisely My Brow. Let me show you. Like, I'm not exaggerating. That's it. Oh, my gosh. I would get a shade lighter next time. I will definitely repurchase this. But we're going to put that up and pull the Goof Proof by Benefit. And 
For primer, we're gonna keep in the Urban Decay Primer Potion. We're almost done with that. It's in a project pan. We're going to keep in the House of Lashes Adhesive. And these are Dell 110s. I swear I'm gonna use them at least one time this week. That's my goal. And I don't really need this, so we're gonna put this back. It's just a little sharpener. But for singles, I am going to pull. I just think this would be a fun, like purpley pink, this Stila Shimmer and Glow. And I don't know how to pronounce the name, but we're gonna pull this one. And then that's all my stash videos. I always think that I'm making good progress as far as time is concerned, and then we get to the store, and then I'm not anymore. But we're gonna keep in the Sephora lip balm, the rose hemp one. So we're gonna keep that. Last week I used the color Scandal and Jeffree Star and Watermelon Soda. This one didn't really pair well with that palette, but I'll insert the picture of where I wore it here. And then the other shade that you've seen on the screen was Scandal. Um, both of these I feel like make your teeth yellow. So I don't know. I didn't love them for that. I think I would love this in the summertime though. So we're going to go ahead and put these back. Okay. So let's pull out our palette. I have got to check this again. I know I want to pull a red, obviously. I'm excited about having a red too. I feel like I haven't had one of those since the holidays. So this is what our palette looks like. We could definitely do pink. We're definitely going to do a red. Um, and I might pull a neutral color as well just to cover all of our bases. So yeah, let's do that. So our red color. This is like a red orange color. I don't know if she's the one. This is more vampy. I think we're gonna go with this Kat Von D one. This is like a true red. This is Outlaw. And let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's that's red. <laughs> that's red. So we're gonna use that one. And then for our pink color. I think I'm going to pull this. Let me see. Calabasas or doll parts. I feel like these could also be like your safe color alternative. Okay, so that one is doll parts. And that one is Calabasas. Let's see what would work best with this palette. Calabasas. Calabasas it is. Okay, so we're going to go with Calabasas. Put up doll parts. And then let's try like a nudie color. Scorpio might be the one for this. Yeah, that's too purple for me. I think I might. Let's see. That's too purple as well. this one I feel like this one will be the one yeah we're gonna go with Kat Von D I have no idea look at that no idea the color but it looks like that just like a neutral color and let's see what items we pulled. Review of all the items that we pulled. I would say I'm really excited about the all night shade spray back in my collection. Uh, that new foundation. If you have been watching my channel you see that I stick to the same too so I have high hopes for that one. I'm also excited to pull three lippies this week. The, probably the item I'm least excited for is that um, milk highlighter. But yeah, let me know what items you pulled for this week. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.